week off and, and kind of getting back at it today? Uh, well, we did a lot of preparation, our, you know, really a lot of fundamental work, um, a lot of timing. We did, you know, get into the game plan on specific pieces of it. Um, so we feel like we're ahead right now, but we really try to just clean up a lot of fundamental stuff. What do you tell Reggie going into this week? And he's been, Coach said yesterday, he's been through a lot on and off the field this year. Now taking over without Will over there. What do you kind of tell him? What's your message to him? Yeah, well, just be himself. You know, he's very, He's. I think he's a special guy. Um, so he's just got to be himself, have fun with it. But he has to understand how serious this is and, um, you know, it's a huge game for us. Um, he has to really take his preparation serious and, um, you know, go out and perform when we get the opportunity to perform. Does Devontae surprise you still? I mean, he's, he could still get 1,000 yards receiving this year after missing the first half of the season. Nah, he doesn't surprise me. I, um, like I said, we spent a lot of time working with working in um, the off season, in the spring ball, training camp, so we knew what he was capable of. So it doesn't surprise me that he's um, playing well. You guys work on crowd noise in there, but I'm trying to run offensive crowd noise. Oh, yeah. We expect it to be very loud in there. Um, you know, obviously, it's one of the best environments to play college football. Um, so we are, um, that's a part of the preparation. You have to have a plan for the crowd noise also. They gave up an abnormal amount of yards last week. I mean, what, what went into that from Northwestern? Did you guys see on tape? And how do you th hope to replicate it? Well, we just, um, you know, it's really, when you go into a game, what happened last week, um, you prepare for and you study. But once you run out there, none of that matters. It's which team is playing at the highest level at that time. Mm -hmm. So we're really just concentrating on our guys taking care of the football, um, and all 11 guys executing at the same time, um, communicating in the noise um, would be important, um, and just playing the type of ball we're capable of playing. I know you like to study yourselves a lot, too. More after the season, more that. But do you feel good about where you're at, play calling right now, as far as run pass and, and that kind of thing? I mean, is it, does it feel pretty, pretty balanced? Well, it does. Um, you know, the last few weeks because we've been able to run the ball, you know, and complete passes on third down. Um, I think in the um, first half of the game, Will was completing passes, you know, at a high level, and then at the end or the second half, Reggie was able to run for some third down conversions. Um, so you just got to do what you have to do on that particular Saturday. Um, you don't really, you know, you, you do study everything and you study yourself scout and you see where your tendencies are. But once you get out there, you just got to do what you got to do to win the game. Coach said Kyle would be the backup. Yeah. How, how has he progressed and what has kind of moved him maybe forward from earlier in the year? Yeah, well, they've done a, you know, I've got a group of guys in the meeting room that, you know, they all pay attention. They all show up on time. They're really committed to learning how to be really good quarterbacks. One of them, uh, Brett Nelson, who's a senior, wants to be a coach for some reason. I don't understand <laughs> that. Um, but they've become students of the game, and we've seen Kyle get better uh, with his technique and fundamentals. The guys really like Kyle, um, so he has stepped into a leadership role for us. Um, so it's just fun to see them all develop and get better. Why do you think the offensive Well, just um, I think that uh, we stuck to our plan. We never, you know, when things were not looking good, we didn't change the way we coach them or, you know, Klonakis never um, doubted the way he was coaching them, that we have a plan that's always worked for us. Uh, we've won a lot of games together. And we just, you know, coach is the one that told us both, just stick to the plan. You know, don't, don't deviate, don't move away from what we've always done. And eventually the light will come on, they'll start understanding concepts and understand our terminology and it'll happen. So we're just fortunate the last few weeks we you know, I think they've played really good ball. All right. Thanks, sir. All right. Thanks. Thanks.